Yo, man, as soon as I get a hold on my mental positivity and my focus, yesterday, last night, I'm, I, and I apologize, there's construction going on right here in Old Town, Monrovia. Last night, I freaking dropped my stupid hard drive, my big ass hard drive that like everything is on so ever since my trip to Seattle. I got a good deal on it, so I bought it. It was like 60 bucks. I didn't even like think twice to notice that it's huge and it has to plug into an outlet. So I have like one wire going into my computer, another wire going into the outlet. And um, and it got the wires got caught in my desk chair when I was facing my computer. Didn't see it, heard something fall. I'm like, shit. I tried to plug it back in, made some weird noises, and didn't work. And then stopped making noises. And so I'm hoping that um, that it can be recovered. It, but I don't know. I'm not going to get my hopes up because it's obviously got internal hardware damage. So one can only hope. Cross my fingers. It's the worst time for something like this to happen. I had to borrow money to get a new hard drive. I'm gonna have to borrow money to fix it. Not my brother's moment, man. But I'm gonna keep my head up. I'm gonna keep working. I'm gonna fix these problems. I'm gonna focus on the solutions, not the problems. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. I've been building this relationship with my LCD screen and not looking at you, man. I appreciate you. I love you guys. Let's go see if this guy can help me. Hey. What's up, man? I'm okay. How are you? Good, thanks. What can I do for you? Um, so I, I guess we're gonna hard drives. Yes. Like external hard drives. Um, I dropped mine. All right, so I dropped off the hard drive. They're gonna call me <clears throat> and let me know if they can recover it. If they can't recover it, I'd have to send it in somewhere and it would cost like 700 bucks. <sighs> Which I, uh, it, I, I can't do, I, I can't afford it. And um, it would take, I would have to save up some money. And um, I just have one video with G Word on there that I won't be able to get back and it was a super dope location. I'll have to come out of my pocket and throw G Word a free video and we won't have that video anymore at the location that we had it at in the condition it was in. We could redo it better though. That's for sure. Um, yeah. Yeah, I just messaged this dude on Instagram, another director on the East Coast. Hope he's doing well. He said, it's going good, brother. I just need bookings, you know? So, I know I'm not alone. You can hate if you want, but my back's against the wall right now, so that's why I'm about to go walk in on these businesses. I'm about to go walk over to people's homes, and I'm going to find work however I can, and I'm going to network, you know what I'm saying, because maybe I give my card to somebody and talk to somebody who talks to somebody who talks to somebody. Like, it might not be that person, you know what I'm saying? All I, my goal to do is to go in and leave a lasting impression of who I am. That's the goal. This is a networking exercise. Yes, I'm making sales, that's the goal, but this is a networking exercise, and a lot of times people need to see you and experience you two, three, four, five, six, seven times, 20 times, 30 times, 40 times, before they decide to buy something. And some people do it on the first time. But that's the game. I feel like I should put my hair up because it's like a little bit nicer. I don't know, my mom told me to do that for like Thanksgiving dinner, so I guess it's nicer. But what do you think? You think I look better with the hair up or down? I know someone's gonna be like, you ugly regardless. <laughs> <clears throat> Yo, my mustache looks good from far away on camera, but if you get up in it, it's not that, it's not that dope. You know what I'm saying? It's like, kinda all over the place. <sighs> so, <clears throat> I'm hoping I have a little more success with these businesses here today because it's like a smaller area in Monrovia versus Pasadena. Hopefully, maybe somebody actually needs this service. Actually, I mean, I did like that fashion brand I went into, the first one I went into where I talked to the ladies and they were nice and I was super nervous. The first one, 
<clears throat> and um, I think it would, that would be a dope place. That would be a dope spot. I think I could do a lot for them, to be honest. And I don't think they have anything going on with social media, which is wow. Like the fact that there's still opportunities for me to find businesses that don't even have a social media. Dude, I'm literally beautiful opportunity. Beautiful. Really wish I had an ND filter, but I guess the shutter we are cranking. A thousand right now. Yeah, I almost wore sweats today. And at first, I, I regret it. See, I'm wearing a t-shirt <coughs> and gym shorts, bro. But I almost wore sweats. And at first, I regretted not wearing sweats because it was really cold out here. It was like, it felt like 45 degrees like an hour ago. And now it feels like 75, 80 degrees in the sun. That's California for you, though. How's it going? It's nice in here. Well, thank you. I'm Roman. Alfonso. Alfonso, nice to meet you, man. Uh, I, was, I was wondering if you might be interested in like uh, any photos or videos for your haircuts, like for Instagram or Facebook, anything like that. Uh, no. I can really. show you an example if you want to see. Okay. Yeah. How long have you been working here? Or is uh, this your spot? Fifteen years. Now. No way. Yeah. You own this place or no? Uh, family owned. Oh, okay. Sweet. Yeah. And then I also do like um like I'll post it and I'll run ads if that's something you guys are interested okay. in. I know how to do like local ads. Mm -hmm. Um and target them by people who you know are already getting haircuts or people who go to other buy hair products and stuff like that. Or I can show you how to do it. That's cool. Yeah. If you want, you know what I mean? Uh yeah, drop off a car or give me your number right now. Yeah, sure. One. Nine, three, two, one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Any any questions you have at all? I don't know. You guys already have like Facebook or Instagram? Uh, we do. Um, we have both. I'm not very active on them. Yeah. Something that I need to get on. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. I mean, um, <clears throat> it something is better than nothing. You know what I mean? So. I have it there, but it's there's nothing. You gotta post. Yeah. Every every time you take a cut, you gotta take a picture and, yeah, and post. You know what I'm saying? Instagram and Facebook and. I'll definitely reach out to you for. Yeah, and Instagram you gotta use hashtags. You know what I mean? Yeah. Different hashtags every post. Too, yeah. okay. What was it again? Uh, uh, Alfonso. Alfonso Roman. Okay. Nice yeah. To you, Roman. Yeah. I'll talk to you later. Big difference from yesterday, right? You see how like, I really just want to go around giving value. And if I give enough value. It'll come back around. Huh. That's funny. <laughs> uh, hi, uh, my name is Roman. <laughs> um, hi, do you know if there's anyone? Uh, Talk to about seeing if you guys are interested in like any photos of your food or, or videos like for Facebook or anything like that. Okay. Okay, I'll stop by later. Yeah, let it know. My name is Roman. Damn, I hope we got that conversation. I think my mic's dead. I just straight up unplugged it, so. I guess we're working without the mic today. Unless I can go pick up a nine volt battery. I think maybe I can make that happen. I got a couple pennies I can scrape together. Oh man. But um, yeah, I, I think when you're doing door to door, it's good to have a script. It's good to know, it's good to know what you want to say. But, uh, I think it's always best when you make sure it's like a natural conversation. Like, and another thing I always used to tell myself was like, it's a lot easier when you just keep <clears throat> like the fact that you're giving value to people in the front of your mind, that your goal is to give as much value to people as possible. It's not to necessarily take anything. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? 
Damn, I need to go get a 9 volt battery. I can't do this. I need I need the mic. I gotta do it. About to pick up a 9 volt at this Walmart. It's really beautiful though. Look at all, all those mountains. Cool battery in. This time I got a two pack of Duracells for only seven something. Much better than this fucking $13 Energizer recharge. Does that mean I can recharge it though? Can I recharge these? <laughs> so these can recharge. I've totally used these before, like all my life. I don't know why I didn't remember that I forgot about them. This bitch recharges. That's why it was so expensive. <laughs> this is a deal. This is a steal. I'm tired, bro. Ugh. Hope you guys are learning something from this channel, man. Hit subscribe, drop a comment. Hit me up on Instagram. Roman wasn't built in a day. I will always respond to my messages on there. Or, you know, I respond to all the comments, too. So, um, get at me while you can, bro. I try to, you know, I try not to be a dick. But uh, sometimes... People ask me questions, I'm like, yo, Google it. Or, yo, I don't know the answer. I don't know the answer to everything. You know what I'm saying? So do your research. Um, but I will respond to you <laughs> if you DM me. Fuck. I'm going to regret. I'm going to regret this. I'm going to regret this. I already do. No, I'm never going to regret I don't it. Want I love no you guys. I want checks. I don't want the second. I want this. I'm all in my ass way. I'm a wreck. I've been moving like a hot mess. I don't want no cabo. I want checks. I don't want the second, I want this I'm all in my ass, way, I'm alright I've been moving like a hot man Want that combo, better know you'll need a check for me Can't pay the play, the sun is still won't get a cent from me I mix the fit up with the salad, like it's a remedy I mix it up inside the pot, watch it drip while it drop, drop Time to take it to the top Chips all in the middle like it fall, no I won't flop we How's it going? Ah. Um, I was wondering if you knew if there's anyone I could talk to about maybe uh, doing like some photo or video or if you guys need help with uh, like social media or anything like that. Okay, there's never a known around. manager around. Okay. Okay, thanks. Hey, how's it going? Good. You will? I am. Hey man, how's it going? What can I do for you? Uh, my name is Roman. I uh, was wondering if you uh, like were interested in any photo or video work or needed any help with social media. Okay. My brother, my brother's my IT guy. Okay. He does all. He does like Facebook. Okay, awesome. Is it working well or? Yeah, we're doing good. Good. Okay. Well, tell him to post more. Right on. <laughs> See ya. Oh, Thank sorry. You. Yeah, have a good one. <laughs> Says no soliciting. I guess I'll I'll honor it this time. Hey, um, I was just wondering if you got you knew if you guys had any need for like photos or videos or help with your social media or anything like that. Um, I think he might be good. Um, I can give you the owner's email though if you ever want to email him. For Does he ever come in? He does, but um, I can give you his email though. Okay. If that helps. Sure. Do you guys have like an Instagram, Facebook page? We do. Oh, okay. You know, like, who runs it or? Okay. Just give you all this information. Okay. okay. Thanks. You're welcome, buddy. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. Have a good one. I interrupted that guy's flirting, but. Uh, I think I, I will. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'll probably reply to these emails or I'll send out emails to these owners' emails with like a brief little paragraph, hey, and um, and just a quick little pitch, like a video pitch on here, and I'll also drop it in the video so you guys can see an example um, of my little little pitch. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, we'll see if they respond. Hey. I started to bother you, I don't know if you're open or... Um, my name's Roman. Hi, Susie. Hi. Um, <laughs> uh, I make photos and videos. 
Oh, okay. I actually do a lot of work with dogs. Uh, one of my main clients is, uh, I don't know if you've heard of him, it's called, it's called Pago, the mobile grooming. Oh, okay. Um, so they come in like the van and they groom them and stuff. Oh, but, nice. Um, I was wondering if you knew, do you own this place? I do. Um, would you be interested in like any help with your social media as far as like photos or videos or you have somebody you know running it right have, now? Yeah, my cousin does photography okay. and, and she owes me because I did her hair for her wedding. <laughs> I just did yeah. the one lagging on, on working oh, on it. Okay, so, but yeah. do you have anybody like running your uh, social media? Do you post on it? I don't. Uh, uh, I post okay. on it. Yeah, yeah you should. Uh, you should post more. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, if you're ever interested here, or if you know anybody else who might need like photo or video services, okay. that, that's me. Um, that's my Instagram, or you can like okay. Google it, or, or however. Um, but yeah, so you don't, you know, just in case. All right. <laughs> um, I do mostly like music videos, actually, um, um, and then like some social media ads and stuff like that. All right. Um, but just look into, you know, network and help out small businesses however I can. Yeah. If you have any questions, like, at all about running your social media, it's really important. I know. Um, I need to get on it. So, like, maybe that'll motivate and, me. Well, I, I, I run ads, too, like, local ads. So, okay. like, you can target people within a five-mile radius who are already interested in these types of products. And okay. really for, you know, a hundred bucks a month or a week, you okay. can get a lot of reach. Okay. Um, I'll keep that so. in mind. Yeah. All right. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah, no, you should have. Uh, Get over here. Come on. Well, I appreciate you. This is a really nice place, by the way. I, Thank I really you. like it. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Little escapee. Hey, how's it going? Good. Hey, um, I was wondering if there's anyone I might be able to talk to to see if you guys are in need of any like photos or videos for like your website or Facebook or anything like that. Uh, to film videos for yeah. like, our website? And yeah, exactly. So like uh, I'll show you just kind of examples of what I've done. Obviously, John yeah, yeah, yeah. Different, but... Uh, sure. Let's see. I do photos too, like, how much would you charge for a video? I really it works with whatever you want to do. Some people want to like do a full on, like hire actors and stuff like that. One question, how long it takes to do like this? Like this? I've been growing this for like a year. From today it's going to take you like 2021. It, it, it kind of curls by itself a little bit. Yeah. Though, so I kind of I'm trying from today. Yeah, I was trying in the van. Oh. Need some wax. You know? Yeah. <laughs> um, you guys have like an Instagram? You guys run? We run? do, absolutely. Um, and not necessarily do we need like a whole crew to like yeah. film. Yeah. Uh, more just a little like standard video like uh, serving and yeah, like cooking. It's just being made. Oh. Like, you know, okay. Like uh, um. Yeah, I mean, I could do something like super quick and short, like yeah, like uh, four or five, like thirty-second videos. Okay. I see. Um, like once they're specifically going on non breads or like the one on our sizzlers gotcha. and like of like all the different sections that we yeah, have, I and just just like yeah, kind of like the same framework, like kind of like what it's like to like enter here, splash of that, splash of this. And yeah, cool man. So, what do you think? Um, I could do one video for one fifty. If you want to do like separate videos, I could do like 350 for like four videos, or four videos. Well, um, I like the 150. Yeah. We can call that like, I, I don't mind like all of this being one video. Okay. Right? But you so can then I up. chop it and yeah, then totally just like cool. put it up as like different posts. Yeah. For like people to see. Um, let's see. Uh, Video Banani? Yanki or Wanki? Do you guys run ads at all? Like on uh, Facebook or Instagram? Yeah, like not really. Yeah. The only thing would be like Yelp. But yeah. even those, like, I don't really consider ads. It's more just like a placement. Really, yeah. exactly. The placement is just higher. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm gonna show him uh, what it looks like. Sandy!
so I, I don't want to like uh, like try to charge you a bunch of money. I do, I do usually do those for like four or five hundred dollars. Yeah. But I don't want to like charge you a lot of money. Well, it's it's not that. Uh, it's more we're a new restaurant. Yeah. So we're not in the green yet. Yeah. Um, so it's like every single dollar is yeah. very, very meticulously spent. So and the, your price sounds good. fair. Yeah. Uh, and you know the more exposure we have, like you know, it kind of works back and forth. Like yeah, I I have also done uh, deals with businesses where I just work off of a straight commission. You know, like a twenty percent of sales from that ad or, or whatever. Um, just just an option. Yeah. Can, do you have a card or do you have something? I, I have. Can, uh, uh, let me write your information down. So this so, is my my Instagram. Or you can perfect. You can okay. Search that right there. I got really excited because I was about to make a sale, right? But I just had to cut the deal short because I don't think that it's worth it for me, for my time and the amount of time that I put in. And the quality that's there uh, for his budget, I think that it's better for him to just do it himself with his phone. Uh, versus me taking my time and adding it to my list of shit that I needed to do for that little money, it just doesn't really put a dent in it. So I was trying to do it for a hundred bucks and I just can't do it. I can't do it for a hundred bucks anymore. I just can't. I just can't. So I'm gonna keep, keep searching. Uh, I don't know, yeah, I feel iffy about it. It's like, ah, oh, man. Um, but yeah. It's just like, when, it, when it's like so low, I just need, uh, I need cash now. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm not gonna be splitting up payments like that when it's so low. So I'm feeling kind of down now um, because I guess I got really excited to do that job. And then I also like, when they said they were on a tight budget, I even gave an initial number that I'm really not, not really okay with. You know what I'm saying? Um, I need to stop doing that. Take a little break, drink some water, uh, maybe hang out with Tina on her break, and um, maybe knock on some houses afterwards. It's kind of hot out. It's January. So as like my head starts to level over that conversation with that, Medi that kid at the Mediterranean place was just like uh, I was just so excited because I'm so desperate to grab money and just get it done um, because because I put myself in that situation of underselling my quality already and he will talk me down to a hundred bucks and then he wants to do it in payments and revisions and like, no, it's not really worth it for me anymore. I probably would have just like edited it, shot it and edited it and give it to him right there off my laptop, but I couldn't. I can't do it. I can't do it for that little. I need like commercial licensing. I need all these things. You know, I put thousands and thousands into my equipment and hours of time. Like I can't, I can't sell myself that short. So. I'm feeling better about that decision not to do that $100 project because it's just like too like it's taking too much out of me to to make sure it's perfect and do everything that they want me to do for that amount. So I maybe could have communicated and negotiated a different deal. Like like I'll just shoot it for that price, but but I told them I would shoot it for free. Like I would literally rather do it for free then do it for a hundred bucks. It's just like kind of a disrespect to my quality, I feel like, you know, no disrespect to those guys, but, um, but yeah, I think I made the right choice because then it's gonna cut into my time of trying to actually get a real project done. But I also need the money, bad. <laughs> no, but if I, if I need it that bad, like I, I, I could sell this, I got some shoes I could sell, you know what I'm saying, like, I can make that quick, faster than I can like edit and for do all this shit for a fifty dollar payment. It's just like ah, oh, it's not worth it. So, but 
My head is a little more level now. I understand that knocking doors is still super valuable and that's not just like finding and networking and sales part is valuable. The bulletproofing my emotions, learning to control my emotions through those ups and downs is what I need to get back to. Is controlling my emotion. Bulletproofing my mind. Bulletproofing my mind. Alright. Let's get it. Yo. I just grabbed lunch with my dad. Oh, and I was right here by the canyon. By Azusa, the canyon city. Shot a video right over there not too long ago, but... <clears throat> it's just too fucking beautiful out here. Not to, uh... Not to get a drone shot of this dam. There's a dam right there. I'm gonna get a shot. Real quick. You know what? It's actually a little too windy out here for me. I think I'm gonna skip this one. Maybe try again later.